Well, I don't know how much of an impact I've had, but I can tell you this. I've had a pleasure working, in it, and it's been an honor. All the athletes that I've touched over the years. I mean, like you mentioned, Brad Park and the, you know, the Guy Lafleurs and Marcel Dion's in the 80s with the Islanders, and then the you know the Edmonton Oilers in the 90s and Detroit and all the great teams. Pittsburgh. We got some great athletes in our game today, and it's just fun and it's an honor to be out there with them. How much hockey do you plan on watching in, in retirement? Oh, one hell of a lot. I'm probably one of the biggest fans of hockey there is. I watch hockey all the time. My wife loves it. My daughter loves it. And we watch hockey all the time when I'm home, so I'm going to watch a lot of hockey. Do you think your last game would involve one where there wasn't a penalty called for the first 48 minutes, it seemed? Well, you never know. I mean, it's like I said earlier on here. It's uh, one of those nights where you give the players credit. They played really, really hard, and, and uh, you know, they didn't commit any infractions that, that you know, told us we had to put our arms in the air. So. That was the type of game it was. And also, when, uh, during your pregame ceremony, there seemed like there was a mixture of some cheers and some boos. Is that somehow oddly appropriate, given given the NHL referee's career? Uh, you know what? The fans are entitled to say what they want. Without fans, we don't have this great game. So I love the fans. So whatever they want to say, it's up to them. Bill, thanks. Thank you.